Welcome back to Land the House. Last week I was rather sick and uh, it's carried over into this week, but the voice is feeling a lot better. So uh, it has rained for the past six hours or so, and I don't think that it's going to let up anytime soon. It's just a, uh, a steady, casual rain that will probably be here all day. But uh, trees are starting to turn and it looks uh, quite nice out there. So uh, I work third shift, so I'm tired, but I think what I'm gonna do is hang out here in the shop for a while and door closed by itself. Um, I'm gonna try and get the last panels up here on the, uh, the top of the shop. I've been putting this off forever. Um, so the plan is, I'm gonna cut this, um, this four by four here. I don't know, maybe cut it like a certain uh, distance back because I want to make a little trap door right in here that I can access the uh, electronics for the fan that's up there. Um, so anyway, let's see if we can get this done here in the next hour or so. I had to go out in the uh, rain and get the eight foot ladder here. It was down by the playhouse. So we should be good to go for getting this done. I was looking at the wiring on this switch here that goes up to the solar panel and fan up in the attic space. And uh, I'm gonna keep that for sure. It makes a huge difference with uh, moisture in the summertime. But what I was thinking about is my vacuum system. This was given to me and I honestly don't think I'm ever gonna use it. I had uh, plumbed in all this piping here that was gonna be used. You could uh, pull caps and uh, attach tools. I just, my tools do have that capability. Uh, for instance, over here, uh, could use that, but I'm not gonna use it, uh, and it's in the way. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and pull all this out. Uh, I can save it for later, and then uh, take this thing out, because look at all the space that it's using up here um, that I could be storing my lumber or something over here, or uh, ram pump, pressure tanks uh, like this one right here. I just stack it up there. But I can move that over here and just call that the storage for PVC and uh, wood. So anyway, that's what I'm gonna do. Let's go ahead and start uh, pulling some of this down. What got me thinking about this was that uh, I've got this piece of metal piping and I thought that would be nice to stick the uh, wiring in so it could just run down here and uh, in this general area, and I could have a switch. Um, whether I keep that little switch there, or if I get a, a bigger switch, um, just to be able to access it from the ground easily. Uh, anyway, I'm rambling. Let's go ahead and take down all this PVC. I don't remember if I showed this in a video or not when I first put it in. I know I filmed everything. I don't know if I was, I was probably saving it all for uh, later. And it's basically complete now. It just needs to have a filter here in the unit. But uh, anyway, I just, I just realized it's just taking up more space than, uh, than it is useful. I did try it out a few times, it worked. Okay, I got that out. Looks pretty good. Uh, so much more space back here now. And moved uh, this one out. So I could probably even add one more row of my uh, French cleat, which will give me even more storage for all of this mess. And then I got this piece out along here. And I'll have to come back and continue to cut out this last piece in here. And uh, I was actually using this pipe piece here as my ram pump box uh, prop. 
So I'm gonna have to add a little piece in there or maybe along here to keep these boxes from tipping over. But anyway, so uh, what I'm gonna do now is put a piece of uh, two by four and ply uh, OSB on that stud up there, insulate, and then probably use my last piece here to get that finished up. The wiring will skirt out around a little hole in there and come down through this piece of conduit pipe. And then I will probably use the same uh, switch that was on there. So, okay, let me cut a two by four real quick and uh, get to the insulation up here. So I've just got this uh, two by four with a piece of OSB on it. And that just allows me to access this stud for insulation purposes. Okay, I replaced the other wire that was up here and got this installed and pushed it up so that when this new sheet comes on, I can still access stuff up top. So, okay, now I need 16 inch and a 17 inch. So there's a 17 inch piece of insulation here. So I don't really have enough OSB to get this job done, but I can actually get some of it finished here. So I'm going to hit 39 inches on this first piece so we can at least get the uh, switch installed for that fan. Well, that turned out pretty good, I think. So I've got the uh, wire coming through here and uh, just coming down to this point here. Uh, I'm out of time. I've got to go uh, get some more stuff done in the house. But uh, so later, what was that? Oh, this maybe? Hmm. Uh, anyway, later I'm going to uh, be getting this switch right here wired in to uh, this block. And uh, this is not focusing. There we go. Um, anyway, so we're going to get this wired in and uh, get it hung back up. And it should uh, be pretty good. Man, so Emma and I were watching some old vlogs this past week. And uh, I noticed that they used to be a lot better than they are now. <laughs> Which is sad to think that they've gotten worse as time has gone on. But um, I've just been so busy uh, trying to figure out how to uh, raise two kids and work three to four jobs and uh, I've let the vlogs slip so <coughs> I've been sick and um, all the other excuses so anyway hopefully I can uh, focus and do better with vlogs but uh, also actually has gotten the job and I haven't talked about that yet so um, I'm watching the kids like four days a week, four to five days, so uh, it's been a stressful time, but we're making it, so. Okay, Ashley and the kids just left. They're gonna go to a book sale at a local school, uh, which means I have a couple hours on a Wednesday to work, which is unusual. Uh, just getting about uh, the first 10 minutes of my presentation done for an upcoming Ram Pump talk. So uh, the Self-Reliant Roadshow with Prep Setter Bob is coming to Burnsville, North Carolina in, uh, on November 16th. It's a Saturday from 9 to 2, I believe. And I'm going to be one of the speakers. There's going to be the um, Greenacre Homestead, the Stony Ridge Farm, Stony Knob Farm. I, uh, anyway, another big YouTuber. I think he has like uh, 280,000 followers, so uh, a decent size for this area. And uh, then uh, Bob's going to be doing uh, a talk as well. So should be exciting. But uh, of course I'm doing ram pumps. That's what I'm kind of known for. Uh, so I'm going to go outside. And uh, yesterday I was filming. And it was raining, 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 raining. And uh, about an hour after I turn off the camera, the sky just opens up. And it is a crazy nice day out. Uh, so... 
I think I'm gonna go out there and actually start the garden fence. I just have to plop two posts in and put the fence back up to complete that. And then if we still have time, head back in the shop and get the wiring done for uh, that roof panel. So the plan is to go from this fence post over to this one over here. And uh, I'm gonna find the middle point first here. So let's see what we got. I'm guessing it's somewhere around right here, but uh, not exactly sure. Yeah, it's 22 feet, so I'm gonna just plop this at 11 here, right there. This piece of fence over here didn't stretch all the way to the post, so I've cut every other uh, piece of wire, and I've got another short piece of fence here that is just acting as a connector. And I'm spinning this under and around, and so it's basically just creating a, uh, an attachment point there. And it seems like it's doing a pretty good job and staying strong still. I got a comment not too long ago saying that uh, they thought that garden spaces were supposed to get bigger, not smaller, and uh, that's probably true, but if you look back on my attempts at growing, I haven't done very well. So I'm actually super excited about having this smaller garden. I think it's uh, going to be a bit more manageable. After several weeks of talking about it, finally have the little garden fence back up and running. Uh, so it is much smaller than it used to be. It used to be 40 by 40, and now I guess it's 20 by 20. But uh, only has one gate, used to have two. So the plan is, I think for next year, I'm gonna till up everything, put black plastic down, and really uh, try to have a nice garden. I planted two blueberries, and they actually did surprisingly well. Uh, I pulled four off of this plant for the first time. Uh, so next year I should have more. And uh, that one, yeah. Anyway, I might plant a couple more of those in here. And the raspberries did uh, really well on their second year. And uh, I was surprised just how long in the season they continue to produce berries. Uh, I don't know if these will actually get anywhere here, but like, anyway. It was just exciting, but I planted, uh, the first one was right here, and it has spread all around there, and there's one actually over there. Uh, the other plan is irrigation. So I was coming down here with the ram pump and just watering stuff uh, from the tanks up top, but I think what I'm gonna do is, where I've got my line over here, keep that where it is, but tee off and bury a line under here and have another spout that I can uh, uh, turn on drip lines so that if I put plastic down I can have my drip lines underneath and grow some stuff that way. Anyway, I'm super excited to have uh, a smaller garden because it was just too much before. So uh, anyway, I think this is plenty big enough for what I'll be growing uh, for the next little while at least. So nice to have that garden done. Okay, before we uh, call it good for this vlog, I want to um, go ahead and take this pipe and string the wire up through it and uh, go ahead and mount it on the wall. And then I'll come back later and make the uh, switch look pretty. I have an idea for putting it into a little box and uh, do it that way. So, but for, for, but for right now, uh, I'm thinking just hold the pipe up with a piece of um, uh, plumber's tape, this stuff here, so 
Let's go ahead and do that. Okay, keep in mind this is an extremely low uh, voltage and amperage solar system. So I'm not exactly looking for any kind of uh, code stuff. I just figured that it would look cool inside of this pipe and uh, probably prevent me from damaging it later. Um, that's really the only reason I'm even doing this. But I just got a piece of PVC pipe up top here and that metal pipe going down from there. Okay, so nothing fancy, just enough to get it up in there. I just built this little box, and I know it's a bit uh, bigger than it needs to be, but it just holds the switch there so that uh, it'll be up here on the wall, and I can just flip this on or off whenever I need it. Uh, so anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and wire this up, and we'll get this put up on the wall here. Should be cool. Okay, hopefully whenever I flip this switch, the uh, fan turns on. Yep, I hear it. Cool. All right, let's go ahead and get this guy into place here. I'm hoping that just two pocket hole screws from the bottom will be sufficient to keep this in place, but I guess we're going to find out. I think that looks a lot better than what it did before. And I just have to get the rest of those panels up there. But uh, way better than just having some wires hanging down. And the box definitely makes it uh, convenient to hold that little switch in there. And to be honest, this thing will stay on 99% of the time uh, in case I have to, I don't know, do some maintenance or something. But uh, anyway, cool, cool, cool. Well, uh, that's going to be it for this vlog. I'm going to give the dog a haircut and then go spend some family time and uh, doctor this cold. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.